in the way. This actually broke like a couple weeks ago, so it's really not gonna stay up. If it's in my way, don't mind it. Anyways, I'll come back to another nursing school diary. I'm on the way to a photo shoot for a clothing brand. I just thought it would have been cute to bring y'all along with me, you know. But y'all, it's really crunch time because when I get back, I have to study. I do have to study because we have an exam on Monday and Tuesday. This is my second time doing a brand shoot. So the first time I didn't record it, when I was there, Aaron was like, oh, you should have recorded. You should have with the with the woo. So I'm going to do it this time. They don't really do this often. But I do want to. Like, I like clothes. Y'all know I like fashion. I like clothes. All of that. Dressing up. Getting cute. I love all of that. Hopefully it's more of these in my future for the rest of the year because I'm down. What else do I have going on this week? Getting my hair done on Thursday. So y'all will see that. It's me holding this thing up. I am so upset right now because I didn't know how much it would affect my videos until I got on camera. That's really it for right now. I'm going to see y'all when I get there because I'm rushing. I'm rushing real bad. So it's really crunch time. I'm on the way to my holistic lecture right now. I get out of there at 11.45. So once I get out of there, it's literally study, 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 study time all the way up until 3 o'clock for my test. So that's really what's planned for today. I'm about to go ahead and head over here. So I'm going to see y'all when I get in my classroom. What are some examples of when you would use sterile technique? Of course, it's a disease, an infectious disease state that was in the but came out of the passage amongst your red blood cells. It then goes septic, you will never forget it. Microorganisms or their products in the blood or body tissues that bless you. On my finger, it brightens in one place. It causes damage to, okay, seven times that. Bacteremia, or microorganisms of bacteria. Septicemia is the systemic infection. It's not genuinely over a long period of time. And chronic infections, HAI, you'll also see them here to refer to as HAC, health care conditions. So um, I had to go to orientation last week down at the church. It is only 8.58 to 11.45. That's literally almost three hours. So tired. Quinn is over it. She is over it. I'm over it. I ain't getting enough rest. I'm trying to think of a place we can go because I just know it's going to be so packed in here. And we need to listen to hard sounds like quiz each other. Oh. Alright y'all, we can start back lecture again. Bye. I'll show that on the next slide how to break the chain infection. Third, healthcare workers with the patients. So if you're working with a patient, 
any of that on me, okay? You don't need to know exactly what they have just to protect yourself. Is there a conversation? Oh, there's a conversation. Okay. It's not, it's not, um, It is. Oh! <laughs> Why are you doubting yourself? I don't know. There it is. It's Esther. Mm -hmm. Yeah. example of a therapeutic response to a patient. We're gonna do everything we can to mm -hmm. help you? Yeah. Okay. And an example of a non-therapeutic response. Non-therapeutic, it's gonna be okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. It's just so crazy because like you wanna say, say it. it's gonna be okay. Be they don't wanna hear that, yeah. Differentiate the pre-interaction beginning work and closing phases of an issue you Pre-interaction is like when you look at their health history or you look at their chart or beginning, maybe your observations, because mm -hmm. working would be like you asking them questions to get the mm -hmm. subject in. So the first, so beginning phase is like when we walk into the room, introduce, like, introduce yourself, ID your patient, like if they have company, ask them to have the company with you, like that's the beginning. Okay. And it's so crazy because the test is going to be like questions, but you got all these, oh, how did it go? Uh -oh. <laughs> Side eye. Hey y'all, so I'm back home. It is 11.18 right now. So really for the rest of the day, I just took my exam, which I got a 89 on. Very proud of myself, but it's not over yet because I have another test tomorrow. After I took my test for today, all we did was study for that test tomorrow. And we're going to do that again before class tomorrow. So I have health assessment lab in the morning. So we're going to be doing vital signs. That ends at 11.45. My path test is going to be at 2. That little time in between classes, me and Quinn are going to use that to study for patho. I'm going to see y'all tomorrow. I'm going to see y'all in the morning time or probably when I get in health assessment lab. I have a medium iced vanilla swirl coffee, three creams, and no sugar, extra pump of vanilla. Hey guys, vanilla, extra purple vanilla, three creams, no sugar, right? Yes. Any donuts? Winter? No, no, thank you, not today. Good morning, y'all. Y'all already know where I'm at. I left the house. Well, I thought I left the house early. I mean, I walked out the house at 8.30, got to my car like 8.35. It's 8.41 now. I gotta be to class by 9. There's two people ahead of me. I feel like I can get there on time. I don't know. Me, personally, sometimes I feel like my timing be off. I think I did this one right shouldn't take me that long to find parking when I get to campus because a lot of people aren't on campus this early usually when I come to campus like 10 o'clock 11 o'clock towards noon that's when it's really really hard to find a spot but I think today I should be fine with finding a spot I'm excited I like vital signs one thing I don't like is manual blood pressure that it can be difficult to hear sometimes but you really just got to have a good ear I guess now uh, why did our freaking fire alarm go off at 7 it was 7 19 this morning mind you my alarm was set to go off for 7 30 but I still lay back down because baby every minute counts I was so upset my apartment is handicap accessible too so when the fire alarm goes off it blinks this bright white light too it was so bad it was so bad I got up I was looking around I'm like what in the world but it went off after like a couple minutes hi good morning and I have Apple Pay. Can I do that? Mm -hmm. Okay. That's it? Yep. Thank you. Oh, wait. I'm sorry. Could you do it one more time? Yeah. Oh, you're okay. Good. Thank you. Palpate the location of the brachial artery. Okay. Note the point on the gauge where the pulse disappears. Okay. And that'll be the systolic and diastolic pressures, right? Right. We'll come and check on you in a little while. Please call us if you need anything. Are you experiencing any pain today? Yes. Okay. When did the pain begin? Um, last Monday. Okay. The 29th. Okay, look at you, getting a date. <laughs> and where's the pain? Um, in my right wrist. Okay. How long has the pain been going on? Um, for about nine days. Okay. <laughs> Is it a sharp pain? Is it a dull pain? Is it radiating? It's a sharp pain. Okay. Anything that you do to relieve the pain? Um, I ice it. Okay. Anything that you do that aggravates the pain? Um, overuse of okay. it. So like writing. Okay, so we just got out of health assessment lab. Well, Quinn didn't have a lab today. She had hers yesterday. But we just got out of health assessment lab and we're about to go and study for patho. Our patho test is at 2. It's currently... 
11.55. Got a cool little two hours. We're gonna try to do active recall, watch some videos. And then he does like these drop-in sessions. We're gonna go back on those two. Cause that's like a session where people like ask questions when they need clarification on stuff. He said the question of the days are like kind of directly related. Oh, he, you don't have him. But, but I have questions of this too. Okay, yeah. I think they work together. Yeah, definitely. I think the tests are the same. They are. But I think he I makes it. Maker, maker. Yeah. I remember like Addison's AD. I got some of the issues. So, like, like, so we put stimulated by Raz. So we put somebody who put like a little arrow like, stimulated. Or Raz is like, this is cool. In the year, I had both hypernatrium and neutrino. Hypo hypernatrium. You know, just like make it like, yeah. Okay. I don't even think about when I think about sodium. I, think, I don't even think about the symptoms of like that's where I think about it. Yeah, it says on the calcium side, but it's just it's 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 and it's inversely related to okay. potassium. Yeah, so with information, and then you have not to kill it, it kind of work. And then remember that you have some that can roll over. So. Okay, y'all. So we just finished our test. Feeling <laughs> anxious. For the most part, I feel good. I feel good for the most part. Y'all know me. I like to keep a positive vibe. Keep it like, yeah, I passed. Yeah, I did that. Because I know I did. Get our grades back in the morning. Hopefully, I'll forget about it by tomorrow and then it just pop up. I'm not going to forget about it. I'm not going to forget it. I'm going to wake up thinking about it. That's what, I, that's what I was thinking about when we was waiting on the F-test in lab. I was just like, I'm trying to see my school. I know. It's hot. It's what I got on. I did not look at the weather for this afternoon. Oh, we got to practice our skill, too. We were supposed to have lecture today, right? But the teacher got sick. So she just recorded um, a lecture for us to look at. So we're going to look at that tonight and maybe do some objectives or maybe just look at the lecture. We'll see. It's a really nice day out today. You got people on the grass sunbathing. I might get a little something to eat because I'm hungry. I might get some Chick-fil-A. I ain't going to lie. I feel like I deserve some. But yeah, campus is real cute. You can go ahead and ready to start. Let me get my order. Got a pad. Got this. Got this. So big bag, but I love caramel. A Reese's covered on top. I think it's covered. Ooh. Oh no! Oh no! She said that's good. It's you think so? I love caramel. No. Girl, bye. You ever had the Weathers original little candies? Go. Mhm. Mhm. You had the chewy ones and hard ones. I like the chewy ones better. I feel like it's stuck in your teeth. They do, but they be good. They be sweeter. You need to go to the dentist. I feel like I got a cavity. I got a cavity. I know. It be hurt. I felt it. Yeah. But it went away the pain. Away. I eat something that's too sweet. It's starting to. <laughs> <laughs> Let me do this damn skill so we can go eat. Let me know when you're ready. I'm ready. Go. All right, I'm coming to the med room. I can't hide you. I'm going to check my med order. It calls for three units of regular insulin, three units of MPH insulin. I'm going to look into my drawer. I'm going to take out regular insulin. I'm going to clean my vials. See what it's for now. I'm going to go ahead and pull up my air for my MPH insulin. Three units of air for my regular insulin. I guess I put the air in first because I was not putting the air in first. Leave me alone. <laughs> it calls for three units of regular insulin. This is a vial of regular insulin. And I put three units in my syringe. Now I'm going to go to pull my MPH insulin, which is seven units. Order comes with seven units of MPH insulin. This is my MPH insulin, and I put seven units in here. It can go to ten units. I didn't shake the bottle. Mm. 
Okay, one thing is another. I'm gonna make my label. Do everything else right in there. You shaped it last time. Right. But you were so focused on making sure you put it in there. In there, yes, the first thing you so. mm -hmm. Gotta remember all the steps. Do you think if I caught that, they would let me go? Because I did catch it. But I feel like you, like you gotta start over. But, I mean, you haven't injected it into the person yet. Right. <coughs> but you would have to because you didn't shake it. It's yeah, not so mixed up. Start over. My order calls for three units of regular insulin and seven units of MPH insulin. This is regular insulin and this is MPH insulin. And then I have in here three units of regular insulin and seven units of MPH insulin to equal a total of ten units of insulin. I'm going to go into my patient's room. Not not perform hand hygiene. Provide privacy. Hello, Mr. Patient. My name is Drew. I'm going to be your student nurse today. I'm going to be injecting your insulin. Do you have any questions before I begin? I'm going to be injecting into his... Girl, did you even check his name and date of birth? I didn't do that the first time either. But, like, I know that. That's what I'm saying. I need to be in the lab. Like, I can't function like this. I need to be at okay. the thing. Because when I was at the thing, I was doing everything right. Like, don't get frustrated, though. You're not right there. Don't get frustrated. You know what to do. Maybe you're frustrated because you're trying to sit here and do it at the table sitting down. You don't have your model and stuff like that. Yeah. Because I didn't have these problems when I was in the lab. Only problem I probably had was... So we can stop right now. Not putting my gloves on. You want to keep going? Yeah, I still want to inject it. Okay. But after that, yeah, I'm not doing it again. I don't want you to get frustrated. Finish my site. Inject another one. Okay. Scar and biohazard. I'm gonna go get tacos. I got tape on my finger. This is ghetto. I'm hungry. I have not been to Taco Tuesday in like forever. It is 7:26. We just finished study. Well, we just finished going over our PowerPoint because our teacher she got sick, so she just recorded the lecture that we were supposed to do today after the test, and she uploaded. And we just went through that and finished that so we got all the notes for that it was over cardiovascular system and then tomorrow we have checkoffs for this skill that i just showed y'all so we finna go eat so i'll see y'all when we get there piercings out this is my nose piercing and then my second ear hole so we can't have none of that the only piercings you can have is just one little earring stud i'm gonna get some chick-fil-a for lunch i really have been craving like a grilled sandwich from chick-fil-a especially since i just came from the gym like i feel like if i get something like just big and unhealthy it'll just cancel it out my lab starts at two i think it's like after 10 right now we're just gonna do our cardiac learning objectives until lab starts i'm about to go ahead and get dressed my scrubs are in the dryer right now i put them in the dryer every week because they be wrinkled like from being in the closet i don't know they be wrinkled up so i'm gonna grab those at the dryer and get dressed right quick this little shield thing makes me feel so official but it never shows because i always have my jacket on because it's cold outside and the jacket don't have the shield thing on it but when it start to get hot outside oh yeah i'm finna feel real official with my little I have to put my name tag on it just has my name on it and then my school and then it says bsn nursing student we have to wear this oh we have skill checkoffs today we have skill checkoffs every week i'm not even surprised well, here is the full fit well i don't have my shoes on yet but they just regular black shoes so it's nothing spectacular but fit check my pants were too big at first i'm so glad i exchanged them with another girl because baby my pants was falling off before i'm gonna just go ahead and grab some lunch and then we're gonna get into these objectives okay y'all so we got our path <laughs> it's quiet here okay? but we got our path grass back one two three <laughs> okay but we're about 
about to do our learning objectives right now. I got me some chicken plain. Put in the gluten one. Bruh. Give me a gluten free bun. This is the chicken with the lettuce and the tomato, cheese, and pickles. Like, I'm about to literally build my sandwich and enjoy it. I got a small thing of fries, too, you know. But I need something to hold me because lab is so long and I didn't bring no lunch bag today. So, we're going to do these objectives. I'm going to see y'all probably when we get in lab. So, you can use discretion with your patient if you look and they don't have a lot of time for our purposes. So, I'm going to bring my order. In the drawer that says Fenergan, I'm going to pull this out. I have Fenergan, 25 milligrams per milliliter. So that is my first med check. And my supply is 25 per milliliter. So we do have one extra step when we have medication that comes in an ampule. And I'm going to walk you through that. All right, so now I'm ready to prepare my container. The book says you can also make a, like a circular motion with your hand. We have all the liquid in the bottom. Make sure all my medicine is at the bottom of my ampule. It is, but I'll still tap it just to make sure. Go ahead and start to clean my ampule. So I'm going to tear off my alcohol wipe. I wasn't supposed to tear it like that. I'm going to clean the top of my ampule. All right. This will go in sharps, right? Well, that will, yeah. Okay, I'm going to put this in sharps. Draw up needed medicine and push out any excess. Got the air bubbles out. See, the bigger ones are so easy to get the air bubbles out of. Clean from inside to outside. I'm going to let it dry. Put my needle in. Then I'm going to pull back to check for any blood. All right, just some air. We're good. I'm going to go ahead and spread that back out and inject my phenogram. Remove my needle. Sharp. End of the scale. skills lab right now skill that y'all saw us learn yesterday i'm in here practicing it quinn is on the way hair is done it looks cute as always we got mr patient in the cut with my twin we be hey i'm gonna go ahead and get my supplies and stuff out i'm coming to my room before i can hygiene I need an order. I think I got one in my hood bag. So I'm going to look at my order. It calls for 40 milligrams of fenogram. I'm going to go in my net card. Take out the fenogram. Our supply is going to be 20 milligrams. So I'm going to divide 40 by 20. It's going to be 1.6. So I'm going to need a total of 1.6 milliliters. So that's my first med check. Now I need to go ahead and change the needle on my syringe. So twist this off and immediately put it on my syringe. Okay, so this says that I should have put the filter on first and then open the medicine. Okay, I'll do it next time. I'm going to draw up my phenogram. My order calls for 40 milligrams of phenogram, which I calculated to equal 1.6 milliliters. And then here is my syringe with 1.6 milliliters of the phenogram. So now that that's done, I'm going to go ahead and wash my hands. I'm going to pull this back. So I can change this filter one back to the regular one. This needle isn't the one that gets injected. It's a filter needle. So since the medicine came out of a glass, just in case any glass shards got into the vial and I pulled up any, it wouldn't work because this has a filter on it. And then this is the needle that's actually going to go in the patient. So I'm going to go ahead and switch those back out so I can go ahead and administer it to my patient. Okay, there we go. I'll twist that one on. This will get discarded in shards, but I'm gonna keep it for practice. All right, so now I'm gonna go in my patient's room. Knock, knock, knock. Hello. 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 Hello.
Hello, Mr. Patient. My name is Drew. I'm going to be your student nurse today. I'm here to inject your phenogram. I want to confirm your name and date of birth for patient 110-1965 with patient 110-1965. Perfect. Do you have any questions for me before I begin? Okay, great. And then I would say out loud my landmarks, the greater trochanter, the patella, and then I divide it in three sections and then come to the middle. So it'll be one, two, three sections, but I will inject in the middle section. But we don't actually inject the mannequins, we actually just inject on a skin pad. Perform hair hygiene again, just to be safe. Clean my injection site from the middle to the outside. That is trash. I will uncap my needle, spread out my injection site, insert my needle, and then I will aspirate to make sure I didn't hit any blood vessels. We're getting air, so that looks good. I will spread again and then go ahead and inject with my fingers and then take out the needle and immediately put the needle in sharp. But I'm gonna put the cap back on because I need to use this needle again. All right, Mr. Patient, you are all done. Do you need anything before I go? Do you feel okay? Remember that your call buttons are on the sides of your bed. Have a good day and I will see you later. I feel like for my first time really seriously doing it, trying not to look at my nose, I did good. I just opened my ampule before I switched my needle top. Says so I guess I just didn't want to put the needle down, but if the needle is covered, then I could put it down. But you know. They emphasize everything is sterile, so I just be trying to be as clean as possible. But I'm just going to keep practicing it, keep strengthening myself so I can get tested on it next week. Me and Quinn are going to do our cardiovascular learning objectives as well, so we'll probably do that after we do this. I don't know really what else I'm doing today other than studying. Y'all know the story of my life, so 